Good evening, folks. Welcome to Paradise. Yo! Good evening. Today we're going to be reviewing the Chase Base Drunken Mullet. You've probably seen me post about this on Instagram and YouTube. That thing looks freaking sick. If you didn't know, this is one of the most innovative and I think the newest topwater prop style popping type baits on the market right now. Uh, Chase Baits, one thing that attracted me to them is how innovative they are. You know what I'm saying? Like I've never seen so much detail on a topwater prop bait. And look at that two Look at that jointed body. It's gonna say two segment jointed body, same thing. What's gonna happen is when it's propping, it's gonna tightly swim or wiggle. That just added, this just adds to the realism. You know, and these baits are all about being very realistic. If you see my review on the mud bug, and I'll, I'll link that up here. Baits have come a long way. You know, five, 10 years ago, you didn't really have baits that looked like this or that looked like that mud bug, but here we are. And uh, I'm gonna get this thing wet, talk about it. And you guys are gonna see why I love it so much. So let's get it. Yeah, the first thing that I notice about this Chase Baits Drunken Mullet, it's lighter than other topwater prop style baits, plopping baits that I've thrown. It has more of a, like a smooth, it's probably the better word to, to use here. It has more like a smooth plop. See a similar plopping style from this bait. It's not super cuppy and hard. Doesn't have like a lot of bass in the plop but it's just like it's just smooth and finesse type i guess it's the the number one thing i'm hoping for is that that extra detail is going to matter you know like when the fish look at that silhouette or they see that tight wiggle they're like more believable that that's a fish you know what i'm saying they're more invested in getting that bait instead of thinking like it's some weird wonky piece of trash or if it's pressured some of these fish have brains man if it's pressure, they're like, oh no, that's, that's, you know, X bait or that's that company or I've seen that before. You know what I'm saying? Look at this, the anal fins, the dorsal fins, the pectoral fins. Look at that thing, man. Those eyes alone are sick. Look at that, man. Sheesh. I mean, of course you're looking at it if you're watching the video, but like, I'm just trying to express like this thing is fire. Yeah. I go with dark prop baits because it's much easier in my opinion and experience for these fish to make out that dark silhouette and um man i used to not think that they would hit black lures but these things work nighttime daytime they really work i'm excited cheers a little bass no bluegill fuck a bluegill again One. About time, man. Golly. About time. It took a while. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting it. Gosh, that's a thick two pounder. Whew. Not bad. Sheesh, man. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All that paid off, I guess, eh? Oh, hold up. That's a good bass, too. It's not a bad bass. Look at that. Pretty thick, eh? Not bad, eh? We finally did it, fellas. Ladies, drunken mullet, shadow. 
Let me take this hook out and uh, get this bass back. She's pretty thick too. I like it. I like it. I like it like that. It's not bad, huh? Two, probably right at two pounds. It's a thick one. Oh. Y'all did not know how hard I worked for that. Look at my face. The water stinks and I just put it all over my face mask. Ugh, turn it to another side. Yeah, we worked hard for that, man. Let's go though, man, let's go. Do I keep throwing it now? I threw it all the way around the pond and I was just gonna be like, all right, let me throw it a little bit more and figure out if it's just me or did I just not find a bass that wants it yet? We found it, man. The shadow gets it done. It feels good, it feels good. Maybe we need to throw that a little bit more. Do we keep it on for the rest of the day? Do we head home and go eat? What do we do, man? That was a pretty good fish. Right here in the shallows. I didn't think it would be here. I thought it'd be closer to the fountain. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. To me, on a new bait like that, that's the equivalent of catching maybe like a three or four pounder. I'm, I'm, I'm so ecstatic. Success, success. I'm even shaking a little bit over a two pounder. Come on now. When you scratch things off, it just feels that much, that much better. Let's get it, baby. Yes. Woo! The chase baits, drunken mullet, man. That feels nice. Real nice. I'm ecstatic, elated, excited. Oh yeah. Yeah, it felt good too. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Who would have known throwing everything else didn't work here, but that top water drunken mullet shadow is what gets us a really good fish. I felt so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm so excited. Man, uh, shouts to the sponsor, Chase Baits. Appreciate you guys. Y'all ask me about them, man. If you have a question about these baits, um, question about how to rig them, how to use them, please let me know. Let's get it. You hear that soundtrack? It sounds so good out here. So peaceful. It's beautiful. Let's go! Man! Felt good to scratch that off. Drunken mullet. This is next. This is the flip-flop. Um, gosh, excuse me. I'm excited. Look at that thing. Moves. Looks just like a creature. Gosh, man. Gotta get hit on this. And also, the bird. The smuggler. I'm sure you've seen this either on Facebook or Instagram. Maybe even seen somebody have it themselves. I'm getting bit on this next. And um, just listen. Listen to how it sounds in the water. It's beautiful. Y'all, thank y'all so much for watching that video and coming back to the channel. I know it's been a week and some change, but um, we're really excited about the sponsorship with Chase Baits, excited about doing more reviews, excited about the kayak I just picked up this week. Oh man, there's so much more coming and um, I, I gotta film it all for you guys. I really do, I really do. There won't, I don't plan on there being another pause like that. I apologize, I had some things going on. I got a little busy and also, uh, had some dehydration this week as well, man. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Don't be macho man out there in the heat, especially if you are in the South. It is brutal. Very brutal. But um, take care of yourself. Cheers. Love you. See y'all. Till next time.